Hello everyone. How did you do your exams? Let's say you got 70 out of 100 marks in your exams and your friend from another school got 50 out of 60 marks in their exams. Now who do you think scored more? Or when it's sales season and you're out shopping. Here is an awesome shirt for 600 and the offer price is 400. But wait, that one's for 700 is sold at 500 rupees. Which is a better deal out of these two? In both these cases, the discount is 200 rupees, but one is still more expensive. So how do you decide? See, you do get to use maths in your real life, especially the concept we are going to learn about today. Percentages. What is a percent? Percent is formed from two Latin words, per and cent. Per meaning for every, like two chocolates per person and cent meaning 100. So percent means for every 100. So when you say 25%, it means 25 for every 100. Essentially, it's a ratio, 25 by 100. You remember what a ratio is, right? The comparison between two things. For example, if you have 12 red t-shirts and 6 blue t-shirts, the ratio of them both, 12 is to 6 or 12 by 6 or 2 by 1, shows us that you have double the number of red t-shirts than the blue t-shirts. You also learned how ratios can be converted to fractions. In this case, can you guess what fraction of your t-shirts are red and what fractions are blue? Very good. I see you have your basics strong. So two thirds of your t-shirts are red and one third are blue. Coming back to percentages, what does percent mean? Right, percent means for every hundred or out of hundred. So basically, percentage is the ratio set to hundred. So instead of writing by hundred all the time and confusing with other numbers out there, we use this symbol. It's not complicated. The symbol and 1 by 100 both mean the exact same thing and you can exchange them without really changing the meaning or the value. You must be wondering though, why the special ratio? Why 100? Because it makes life easier? Multiplication and division with 100 is so much more easier, don't you agree? In reality though, in ancient Rome, computations were often made in fractions that were multiples of 1 by 100, like a tax of 1 by 100 has to be paid to the king for any goods sold at the market. As time went on, mathematical calculations with denominator 100 became pretty common. Even now, for our taxes, stock markets, discounts or profits, we use percentages. Don't worry, you will soon come across some of these applications in this chapter so you can show off your skills when you go shopping next time. To start off, let's learn how to understand these percentages as numbers. When I say 20%, it means 20 out of 100 or 20 by 100. But 100 what? It can be marks, rupees, points, number of tables, anything you want it to be. For example, in the statement, 20% of the students in a class like football. This means that if there are 100 students in total, 20 of them like football, that is the fraction 20 of 100 students like football. Now this fraction 20 on 100 can be reduced to its standard form, cancelling the common factor 10, it would be 2 by 10 which is equal to 1 by 5. So 20% is equal to the fraction 1 by 5. This means that one fifth of the class likes football. Fractions can be converted to decimals, which means that even percentages have an equal decimal form, right? In fact, it is much more easier to find the decimal form of a person than any other fraction. Look for yourself, 20% is 20 by 100. Dividing by 100 is pretty easy, right? So you tell me the decimal form of 20%. 20 by 100, shifting the decimal point gives us 0 0.2. So now we found out the fraction and the decimal form for 20%, 1 by 5 and 0 0.2. Now you tell me what is the fraction and decimal form of 45%? Were you able to calculate it? Did you get 9 by 20 and 0 0.45? Very good. Now you know how to convert persons into fractions and decimals. If a person is a ratio or a fraction, that should mean even fractions can be converted to percentage, right? Let's try to find 
what is percentage format for 3 by 5? Now, percentages are the same as fractions with denominator 100. So, to convert 3 by 5 into a percentage, we need to simply make the denominator 100 and find a numerator to match it. The beauty of maths is that there's so many different ways to solve a problem if you know what you want to get. Let's explore one of these methods. To make the denominator 5 to 100, we can multiply it by 20 because 5 into 20 equals 100. So the fraction 3 by 5 becomes 3 into 20 divided by 5 into 20, that is 60 by 100. Now we know that 1 by 100 is the same as the percent, so 60 by 100 will simply be 60%. A simpler method would be to multiply the fraction by 100%. This doesn't change the value of the fraction because 100% is nothing but 100 into 1 by 100, which is 1. So let's verify this. 3 by 5 as a percent would be 3 by 5 into 100%, that is 300 divided by 5%, which is 60%. You can use the same technique to convert decimals into percentages as well. So tell me what is 0.34 as a percentage? So 0.34 is multiplying by 100%, that's 0.34 into 100%, which is 34%. Did you get the same thing? Very good. So today we learned what exactly percentages mean and how to convert them into fractions and decimals. If you're wondering how this helps with comparing prices or, you know, fits within real life, click on to the next segment.